welcome back to Growth Jan Family. I'm Anjali. And today we're going to be reacting to We Don't Want Kashmir to Become the Sef Second Afghanistan from the European Parliament um, that went to visit German Kashmir. So we recently just did um, the U.S. Congress had a hearing about German Kashmir and didn't quite go so well. There wasn't, I think, enough people from India supporting India, um, enough of a voice, and they talked about genocide. So I'm interested to see and watch this video that, um, because they were talking about letting other journalists and other congressmen come and visit. So this is actually a visit, and I'm assuming it went well because they're talking like they don't want it to become bad they want good things for it just like we want good things for india and all of india and so uh, let's start it up Terrorism uh, now is a world problem. It's a problem uh, of France, it's a problem of Europe, it's a problem of uh, world, and I don't want uh, Kashmir to become a second Afghanistan. If uh, the situation is uh, nearly finishing, it's not finishing in the Middle East, uh, the international of terrorism can uh, find a new place in the future. And I think it's not your interest, it's not the interest of the world, that uh, the new place for the terrorism became Kashmir. What these people said, they said we just want to be Indian, we are Indian citizen and we want to be Indian like all the other Indian citizens. Exactly. Uh, we want to, That's what India to wants. have a, a yeah. development like other parts of the country and uh, we hope that uh, this change of statue will be occasion for our region to be uh, better level of development, better level for my young to go to school, better level for my mother to go in hospital, and uh, that's all. After that, I repeat, we conclude, we are not here to interfere in uh, Indian politics. What was your overall experience over here in Kashmir? It was very interesting, lots of data, lots of information, but um, I think if you let in people from the European Parliament, you should also let in opposition politicians yeah, from India. So there is some kind of disbalance, but um, and this, the government should somehow address it. I think um, you know, as long as we have access to Kashmir, um, politicians from India are entitled to have access as well. Um, there's an international perception about Kashmir mm -hmm. and uh, you have been on ground zero now. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the difference? How did you read it? Um, I mean, from my point of view, I've, uh, even before I came to Kashmir, I used to read a lot about Kashmir for years and years and years because, I mean, <coughs> it's one of the uh, hotspots in, in uh, this region and um, so as we know today that um, terrorism isn't um, a thing between two countries but it's a global exactly. problem. Yeah. Um, I have always said uh, we have to be very careful about uh, Kashmir and you know as Afghanistan was always considered you know a country far off no one knew after 9-11 everyone knew where uh, Afghanistan right. was so I think we have to 
um, have a very close eye on Kashmir and it was good to be here. I mean, I, I do see that the um, security situation is still uh, uh, stressful and uh, not as it is in other parts of this country or in Germany or in Europe. But um, <clears throat> I very much hope that uh, this is going yeah. to be solved. Yeah, this was nice to see because yeah. we just did the U.S. congressional hearing and they talked about not letting anybody in to see what was happening, that there were so many human rights violations going on and that, you know, there might be genocide if it continues. And, you know, like we've always talked peace here, but when has India ever really started the war or really done anything that inhumane that they've been talked about genocide? Oh, my God. Anyways, different video, but it just brings up a lot of the same concerns, you know, and this was nice to see that they got to talk to the people. And we know, you know, we there's only a handful of people that are like terrorists that are going after and killing innocent people. There's only a few of them. The majority of the people want the country to be good. And um, so it was nice to hear that that's what they were hearing when they visited, yeah. you know, even though there's still a lot of military there to kind of keep the peace. And it, you know, I think they're trying to do their best in in the democracy and the way that they should be doing it. They're trying to do their best to keep the peace and not let the violence happen, but they have to do it slowly and in the right order and hopefully it will become such a nice place like the rest of India where there's lots of tourists and lots of good economy and nice hospitals and schools and jobs and just a booming economy like the rest of India and that's kind of I think the hope for it in the end but it's going to take time and change is always hard but this is one of those things that you have to give them time they're the largest democracy India is the largest democracy. They've gone through the different court systems. They've gone through the way they're supposed to go through to change this and make it better. And it will become better, but it's going to take time. And yeah. so we have to let India have the time to do this um, and not point fingers before things get done. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Because the more you like it, the more YouTube shares our videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.